Welcome to Earl Stories. How I Caught My Mom Cheating on My Dad My wife convinced me to share my story of how I caught my mom cheating on my dad. This happened about 20 years ago when I was 16 years old. I had no idea what was going on with my mother. Nevertheless, something was changed for sure. For many years, my mom was very reserved, she would not smile much, she would not speak much, do her work, and that is all. However, now the situation has changed. I can feel she is happy now. She talks freely, she keeps smiling and interacts with the neighbor. She is in her best mood. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, she cared for me, my little sister, and my little brother. My mom, at the time of the cheating, was 48, she had black hair, many of my friends consider my mom a MILF. She is 5 feet 8 inches, voluptuous, with big breasts and a big butt. My dad, on the other hand, is shorter, he is 5 feet 5 inches, 10 years older than my mom. My friends used to ask me why my mom would marry my dad, without coming out and saying it, they wondered why a hot lady would marry such an average to below average guy. My dad travels almost 20 days a month for his work. During the summer, I stayed with my aunt and uncle, about two hours away from home. My brother, sister, and I would visit my parents' house twice a month during the summer. I would usually visit when my dad is around so that I could meet them both. But this Wednesday, I had to pick up my book, which I left when I was there last time, I came by myself without my brother and sister. Usually, my uncle and aunt would drive me to my house, but because it was a Wednesday, my uncle had to work, so I took the bus. I thought there was no need to call and check if my mom was home because she is usually always home. I went and opened the door. There was a lock on the front door. I had a key for the side door. So I took my key and went in. To be precise, my parents have a big house. It has 12 rooms on the ground floor and 6 on the second floor. To get my books, I made my way to my room which is in the front, just beside the living room. I had no clue that someone was in the house until I heard a loud moan. I was startled, and in a second, I wondered if my dad had come home from his work trip early. Because I knew it was my mom who moaned. And that sound came from the upstairs bedroom. I rushed to make my way out. I didn't want them to know I was there while they were making love. I heard him groan when I was about to get out of the house. This time it was a shock. I somehow felt that it was not my dad. Blood raged into my body. Heartbeats went fast. My face turned red. I decided to go upstairs. Without making any noise, I went upstairs and from the ventilated window accessible from the stairs, I looked in. And what I saw inside the room made my legs and hands go numb. I saw my 48 years old reserved and introverted mother lying there on the bed, completely nude. Her legs were up. And on top of her, the guy was Mr. S., our neighbor. A 50-year-old guy. Mr. S. is married too. His wife, son, and daughter stay six houses away from us. Mr. S. is a doctor at the local hospital. Mr. S. is a very tough and fit guy, very handsome. I would regularly see him running in the neighborhood. His workouts made him look younger than his fifty years. He is six feet tall with broad shoulders, the first thing that came to mind is Mr. S. can beat the tar out of my dad. I did not know how I should react to what I discovered. So I decided to be calm. Mr. S. was on top of my mom. My mom had her arms wrapped around him, and he was kissing her. Of everything I witnessed that day, 
the part that still stuck in my mind was the way they were kissing, like a pair that was madly in love. Both indulged in a deep kiss, sucking each other's tongues and lips. I kissed a girl, but nothing like I witnessed my mom and Mr. S. do, without experience, something told me they had been at this for a long time. Later after my dad and mom separated, my dad told me my mom said he could not satisfy her. Something my mom told my dad while they were working out the divorce. My mom said my dad's dick is small and she does not like getting fucked by him as he is shorter than her and less strong than her. He is not able to take control of her like Mr. S has. My dad looked sad telling me this, but he wanted me to learn a life lesson on how you can be used if you step out of your league. I'm sorry he felt that way. I thought my mom was the lucky one to have such a devoted man. I did not want my mom and Mr. S to catch me, so I mutely made my way out. This was the first time I saw them, and I am sure they are regularly at it. I took the bus back to my aunt and my uncle's house, the drive back was long and emotional. The respect I had for my mother quickly disappeared. We spent the remainder of the summer at my aunt and uncle's house, my brother and little sister went once to visit my mom and dad. I told my aunt and uncle I was not feeling well and did not want to go, all eyes I did not want to see my mom, and I was not ready to tell my dad. When my little brother and sister returned, they said mom and dad asked about me, and they told me to tell you to get well soon. I knew I could not hide forever, and I would soon be faced with the decision to tell my dad or not tell my dad. My mom and I were cool I liked her a lot until I witnessed her cheating on my dad, but my dad and I were close. My dad always wanted a son, I was his firstborn, we did a lot together, and I admired how he worked hard to provide for our family. This was the catalyst to my decision to tell my dad, I thought he did not deserve this treatment. Three weeks after I discovering my mom's affair, my aunt and uncle took us back home, the summer was over. My dad and mom greeted us and inquired about our summer. I enjoyed staying with my aunt and uncle in the country, there was room to play and be a kid until I discovered my mom's affair. Our vacation went from a joy to a kid's worst nightmare. I decided to wait for a time when my dad wanted to go out and do something, which we did once or twice a month, just him and I. It would be going for a drive or playing catch at the park. My dad asked me if I wanted to go for a drive, and I said yes, we drove for about 10 minutes, and I told my dad I had something to tell him. He looked at me and saw the serious look on my face, and pulled over so we could talk. I told him what I had witnessed, and he looked like a man who had been hit with the worst news in the world. I told my dad I had left a book I was reading at home during my last visit and took the bus back home to get my book, and that was when I discovered my mom and Mr. S having sex. My dad stepped out of the car and went for a short walk, he asked me to remain in the car. I think he wanted to cry, but he did not want me to see him crying. When my dad got back in the car about 20 minutes later, he asked me to take my little brother and sister to the store and make sure I kept them out of the house for about an hour. I told my dad I would, and I told him I was sorry I had to tell him this, he looked at me with a big smile and said no, thank you for telling me. When I got home, I told my little sister and brother dad gave us money for ice cream, let's go, they followed me to the store, and we ate the ice cream outside the store. We went through two rounds of ice cream and a long walk before we went home. When I got home, my mom and dad were screaming at each other, and we went to our bedrooms. About an hour later, my mom got us, kids, together and told us she would be staying with our aunt and uncle for a while and would be back to see us in a few weeks. Dad and mom divorced, and we had to stay with our mom because our dad still had to travel for work. We sold our home, and mom got half of the house sale and child support. To this day, my mom still does not know how dad discovered her affair, I never told her. My mom and dad do not speak, but I do speak with my mom, I still hold a grudge, 
This is one of the reasons why my wife asked me to post my story, to help me move past my mom's actions. It's easy for a person looking on the outside to say forgive and forget, I witnessed the pain on my father's face and the cold-hearted way my mom tried to make her affair my dad's fault. I do not think my wife fully understands the pain my mom caused. Don't get me wrong, I love my wife, and she only wants me to be a better person, but until you walk a mile in my shoes, you will never understand the raw pain of seeing a broken man, one that you love and admire. My mom remarried, the guy was nice enough, and he accepted me and my brother and sister, my dad never remarried. He dated a few women but never settled down with one, I think his ability to trust was forever gone. Let's not forget about Mr. S, he got his. My dad, the small man who has the heart of a lion, went to Mr. S's house, rang the doorbell, and Mrs. S opened the door. My dad asked for Mr. S, and Mrs. S called him to the door, as soon as my dad saw Mr. S, he punched him in the nose. Mrs. S screamed and ran to call the police, Mr. S was shocked and did not hit my dad back. When the police came, they took my dad to the police station and charged him with assault. Mrs. S told the police what my dad did, and the charges were dropped because Mr. S wanted the situation to go away and did not press charges. When my dad was released from jail the next day, he visited Mrs. S and told her about my mom and her husband's affair. Not only did he tell Mrs. S he also told the CEO of the local hospital. Mr. S was let go, and he later got a job at another hospital, the world needs doctors, Mrs. S did not leave Mr. S. I guess she likes being a doctor's wife and all the money that comes with it. I would have had more respect for my mom if she had said something like I love you, but I'm not in love with you, not you have a small penis, and you are a little man. She shitted on my dad with her affair and her words, I think this is the part my wife does not get why I have trouble forgiving my mom for her affair. Thank you for listening. Redditor Comments Redditor 1. Good on you for telling your dad, I can relate to why you will never fully forgive your mom. Maybe it's just a female thing. OP Follow Up I tried, but every time I take my kids over to visit her, I see the same cold person she was 20 years ago. Redditor 2 Do your mom ever asked about your dad? OP Follow Up She did for the first three years, I would never give her the satisfaction of saying yes because dad did ask about her a few times. I would tell her no, dad did not ask about you. This would make her sad and me happy. Redditor 3 This was 20 years ago, why are you still so mad? OP Follow Up I would not say I'm mad, I'm respectful and speak with her, but it is hard to have love for someone so hateful. Earl's Thoughts OP's mom did not show any remorse for her actions, it's hard to forgive someone who does not display remorse. What do you guys think OP should do? Comment below, and I will see you at the following story.